We're going to deal with your tweets in the Your Buzz segment this week. There have been a lot of tweets on a lot of different subjects, and I'm anxious to have a chance to talk to you about it. Uh, I was surprised a bit at a tweet that I got from a guy named Bob Sacamano asking about those three Muslims that were killed in North Carolina in what appeared to be a parking dispute. I mean, a tragic case, you know, heartbreaking. Uh, these were all law-abiding people who had families, and yet... Bob writes, uh, when will you discuss the delays in covering the Chapel Hill story? Much criticism abroad, also a good process explainer story. I don't know, maybe I'm plugged into different media outlets, Bob, but I didn't see much of a delay at all. I mean, first of all, when you got three people killed uh, in Chapel Hill over something like this, um, it immediately gets coverage. And then there is this whole question or series of questions swirling around. Was this a hate crime? I know many people on the left and on MSNBC are pushing this as a hate crime uh, because of three Muslims were killed by a guy who turns out to be a really angry and somewhat crazy sociopath. Well, then it must have something to do with their religion. And it might. But I don't know that to be the case. And I think that even the, some of the guests I've seen, even some of the conservative guests on Fox News are saying we should not rush to judgment here. It is not clear whether or not um, uh, their Muslim faith was a factor. Now, it may have been. This guy, I guess there are indications that this guy, the shooter, the alleged shooter, didn't like any religions, and so it could be a hate crime in that sense. I don't think he was necessarily singling them out, but maybe he saw them, at least some of them, in Muslim garb, and that caused him to snap. Uh, I do think we perhaps we in the media have learned a little bit of a lesson or being a little more cautious in the wake of Ferguson. We are what appeared on the surface at first blush to be an out-of-control police officer shooting an unarmed black teen uh, later began to seem very different when we not only found out that Tray uh, excuse me, I shouldn't say Trayvon Martin, that's another racially charged case, when we found out that Mike Brown had robbed that convenience store, uh, that he um, had in fact attacked Darryl, Darren Wilson in his car, and that uh, obviously a grand jury decided for that reason not to bring any indictment. So I think there's so much sensitivity now with the, with the incredible heartbreaking wave of terrorism and these gruesome, brutal, savage videos that ISIS keeps releasing, whether it's the 21 Coptic Christians killed who are of Egyptian descent or the Japanese, pilot, uh, the Japanese guy who was burned to death, the pilot, excuse me, the Jordanian pilot and the Japanese guy and, you know, the beheadings of the Americans, that everybody's on edge when any story about Muslims and guns and death comes along. But I do think there hasn't been a delay in covering this. I think there's been a delay in jumping to conclusions, and I think that's a good thing.